Today guys, we are back on the Golf GTI and today is the day that I attempt to wrap it. Now, I don't have a clue how this is gonna go. Well, it's even gonna go two ways. It works well, or I put the whole lot in the bin. Um, if I'm honest, I'm probably leaning towards putting the whole lot in the bin because I this is not my forte, this sort of stuff. So we are gonna give it a go. Um, I mentioned in my last video, I haven't actually got enough wrap to do the whole car because I was that unconfident. I only bought enough to do a few panels. So I'm gonna try and do the easiest panel, which well, I think is the easiest panel possibly, the bonnet. And I'm gonna try and do this wing. And then I might try and do another panel as well in today's video, guys. Um, so what we have to do first is some preparation. Now we've got to clean the bonnet. I won't be going too mad. I'm not going to take it around and get the jet wash out. I can't be bothered. Um, so I'm going to put some water on it. I've got my bucket and sponge. I'm going to uh, wash it down. And then I'm also going to clay bar the bonnet as well to get rid of all the impurities on the paint that you can't see. But when you feel it, you can feel the impurities. So I'm going to clay bar the bonnet as well and the wing to get all the, the crap off. Wash it again, dry it. And then we're going to go ahead and try and wrap the bonnet. This wing and possibly maybe a door, a door that's not damaged. Uh, maybe that one give that one a go um, so yeah guys that is the aim for today's video I might also have a go at repairing this door myself um, I have actually had a look on eBay etc to try and find a near side front door and they're at they're about 200 quid and most of them have a bit of damage on as well anyway so I might as well just rep uh, try and repair that I mean that's the only real bit of damage this door has I mean the rest of it's just a bad paint job um, so if I can just repair this then I can actually wrap the door myself so I'm going to give that a go and there are a few dinks that I want to try and possibly get out if I'm that bothered um, I mean it is a what eight year old car it's, it doesn't have to be perfect um, I might try and sort this little bit out I mean it feels doesn't really feel like it's going to be an issue if I wrap it. The rear, bim the rear bumper might be more of an issue because it has got this bit of damage here, look. So I might have to sand that back and see what I can do there. Um, this will need filling. I'm going to put a bit of body filler on that. And I've got this bit at the bottom of the door as well. Here, look. So I might try and do something with that as well. Other than that, the car is in okay condition. So I'm going to start, I'm literally just going to wet it. Although I think it's about to rain, so I don't think this is going to make much difference. A bit of splash. So now what I want to do is clay bar it and that's this like material here it looks a bit like blue tack um, as you can see it's nice and clean at the moment the bodywork is clean I've just put a sponge and water over it so it is technically clean but I'm now going to go over it with this and this will just get rid of all the contaminants that you can't see now to do this you need some sort of lubricant I'm just going to use the soapy water that I've already had I mean, there is soap in there I promise uh, but what I want to do is just go over it like this now and you can feel it like when you're dragging the clay bar along it will go smooth and then it will go rough spot and that is just picking up the dirt so if I just keep doing this like that if you can see here there you go look look at that look how dirty that is just by doing that little bit there and you couldn't even see it so I'm now going to do that for the rest of the bonnet and the wing and then we'll rewash it again and then this bonnet should now be glass smooth after that and clean and then all we've got to do is dry it and then start wrapping it. Now I don't know how this is going to come across on camera but it just goes to show the massive, massive difference even just spending 5-10 minutes clay barring can make. Now this bit of clay bar was pure white, brand new before I started and all I've done is clay bar the bonnet, uh, the offside front wing and the rear boot lid. 
and look at it. Look how disgusting it is after just doing those three panels. And the car was clean. I mean, you saw me go over it with a uh, microfiber mitt and cleaning chemical, and I still managed to get all this dirt off. It looked clean, but look how dirty it still was. And it, the clay bar is what gives you that deep shine. And it is really evident now how much of a deep shine it gives you. You can see, and that's just from clay barring. So now, my putting my finger over there, it, is, it feels like glass now. It is completely smooth. So that is the benefits of clay bar. And now my bonnet is prepped, uh, all nice and dry, clean, perfectly clean, ready for the wrap. So now it is time for me to reveal what colour I've gone for. So in this roll paper here is my new wrap colour, albeit a taster. I think I've got about four metres, I think, or five maybe that I've ordered. And I think you need about 15 to do a car like this. So I've ordered about enough to do a third of the car, which should be enough to see me do the, the bonnet, the wing, and maybe the boot lid. Now, this is where I reveal the colour I've gone for. And I know you're all going to be like, oh, what colour has he gone for? Like green, yellow, red, uh, purple, pink. But unfortunately, I'm getting old. None of those colours appeal to me. Now, if you remember, I did say that I was going to be using this car as a daily driver. Um, I'll be dropping my son off to nursery in it. I'll be going out to see friends, hopefully soon, with my, my kids and my wife in it, potentially. The last thing I want to do is turn up in a Larry 500 brake horsepower, purple, pink, green Golf GTI. I'll just look like a right tit. So it ain't happening. So I've gone for a nice neutral colour that I really like the look of and it kind of will go well with the golf, I think, I hope. Um, and that colour is silver. Now the car is carbon grey, it has limestone grey on it. The logbook says it's grey, so therefore if I wrap it in nice metallic silver, I'll get away with uh, the like not having to tell my insurance it's changed colour because carbon grey, I mean it's silver, same thing. Um, so that'll be a good uh, side as well. And I really do like silver as a colour on a car. So let's get this unwrapped and see what it looks like. And there we go, metallic silver. Call me boring, I don't care, it's my car. But no, I really like that colour and I think it will go really well on the rest of the car. As I say, I like silver and this is my daily driver so I want it to look half decent. So yeah, I really like the look of this and for anyone that is wondering, this is a Hexis wrap. Um, I did a bit of research and I think Hexis was about where I'd want to be for ease of application and cost and obviously quality of material as well. So, um, yeah. Right, I've never done this before so I have no idea what I'm doing. So please, if anyone sees me doing something wrong, don't be that guy and put it in the comment. I have no idea what I'm doing, so that is my disclaimer. So I believe the first thing we've got to do is obviously we've already prepped the bonnet, it's ready to take the wrap as far as I'm aware anyway. The first thing we need to do is get the correct material size. And I believe to do that, I want to put, got a couple of magnets here. Oh, that was hard work. Right, now I've got the basic uh, size sorted. I'm now just going to move that to over here. Like that. And now what I just want to do is cut off the excess. So we're good up here. All here is covered, so I just want to cut these corners off now using my very bad cutting tool.
correct or not. It's really hard to do it now. There we have it, my first ever panel that I have wrapped and it has eventually gone well, but that was an absolute nightmare. I'm sure you'd have seen from the footage that the complete lack of experience and the technical ability and the knowledge of how to apply a wrap properly was just not there at all. I mean, I must have peeled wrap, I must have peeled parts off up and down trying to get it all right 30 to 40 times like the same bit up down and then you'd get that bit right and then you'd move over to another bit and that bit wrong so you have to pull it up and then it ends up pulling up the bit you just did so it was an absolute nightmare and I actually gave up once um, threw the squeegee on the floor twice and walked away once <laughs> and that was just doing the bonnet which should have been the easiest panel so I'm a bit fearful now for the rest of the car. However, I'll just show you around the wrap, uh, what I've done. It actually come out spot on, I think. Um, there's, no, there's no bubbles, there's no kinks, there's nothing. It actually looks fine. Um, I'd be very happy with that. Well, I am very happy with that. Um, I've done all the edges fine. I've cut all the edges. I haven't keyed any paint. So yeah, it's actually gone pretty well, but I just have to remember it is only a bonnet. It's probably the easiest panel. Well, I assume it's the easiest panel on the car. So there we go, look. Looks good, I like the silver. And you can see the job. So it's going round it, look. If you can see, look. Actually, the wrap looks really good. It's almost paint-like. Very good quality, and as you can see, look, there's no imperfections at all in the wrap. Proper happy with it, look. It's come out really well. There we go. Just have to be aware that it is probably the easiest panel. So what I'm gonna do now, I've also, I've already prepped this wing and you can kind of, I don't know if you can see the difference between, no, you can't between these two panels. Obviously I, I lightly clay barred this and I haven't that. Can you see a deeper shine? See if you can hear it, look. Hear that difference? That is like a mirror, it's like glass, and that is really rough. And that is just what the clay bar does. You can't see it, really, but this surface is just so much cleaner, smoother now than that bit.
So this is really frustrating. I was minding my own business, doing it nicely up here, getting the wings spot on, come over to the wheel arch and notice without me looking, it's torn itself look and torn right into the wing. So that's really pissed me off. Um, I'm now possibly gonna have to remove that whole wrap and cut out another one. So I might have just wasted that whole wrap. I am just gonna try one thing. These are really stretchy. So I have just pulled it up from the bottom here. There is a bit of surplus here. So I'm gonna try and heat it up and stretch it over. I have no idea if I'm gonna be able to stretch that much, but I've only got one shot. Uh, might as well give it a go. And otherwise I've got to remove it all and waste some wrap and do it all again, which is great. So I'm gonna give that a quick go. See what happens. Waste of time. Right, I've just checked how much wrap I've actually got left and it's not much at all and I ordered five meters and I've already used five meters just doing a bonnet and two wings. So I'm gonna need a hell of a lot more. Apparently you need 15 to do a large hatchback which is what this apparently is. So I'm not sure if I actually need more than 15 or not, I don't know. But I've only got, I was about to do, trying to tackle the front bumper, I thought that'd be a, a good way to, to proper test whether I can do the rest of the car or not. But uh, having a look, I ha literally have from there, uh, no, not even to there, that's the, it's, sorry, from here to there left, which is what, a metre and a half, that's all I've got left. Uh, so yeah, definitely not enough to do the front bumper, so um, I am just going to do this wing. So before I can actually do it, there is a little dent here, that I want to try and get out there, and I'm literally just going to use a very small punch and a little hammer and just try, because obviously I haven't got the wheel arch liner in, so I should be able to just punch that out. Look, I've got that dent out 99%. You can't even look, there you go. You can't even see it now. Look. I mean, actually, I don't even know where it was. I think it was there. But there we go, look, that looks fine. 100 times better than it was. Can't notice it. So I'm happy with that. I can now do dent removals. Although I'm very much aware that that was the easiest dent to remove ever. sure how that just came across on time lapse but that went so much better than the other wing for one I didn't get halfway through and realized I'd torn into the wing and had to scrap it and start again uh, and I just felt like it just went a lot smoother now don't get me wrong uh, my method is probably still not what it should be um, I have watched a video on YouTube will be a quick one um, but I feel like I've kind of learned or how I've learned anyway um, it worked well um, I've kind of learned how to manipulate the, the wrap a little bit more and how to do it, when to do it. Um, so that went a lot better and I felt a lot more confident cutting the edges as well 
and doing the edges because that was one of my main concerns cutting into the paint but I'll just show you around quickly what I have done so far so obviously we've done both wings it's not perfect I'm not a rapper this is the first time I've ever done it so it isn't perfect so like the edges look I'm not sure how to do the edges so they are a little bit like that I don't know how to do the edges but I'm not overly concerned about them to be fair just go down look, as you can see dent in the wings gone and there's the bonnet there's no air bubbles at all in anything oh where's my camera there you go and here's the other wing again all good yeah so it's not perfect but I'm actually quite happy with it it's gone well I think there is this weird bit on the bonnet here I don't know what's happened there it's just, it looks like a big air bubble but it's not I don't know if it's just I think it's maybe the bonnet's had a bit of work done on it in the past I don't know but no it's actually looking really nice yeah, so sorry, it's a bit of a short one in today's video. I didn't actually do much on the face of it. All I've done is actually wrap three panels, but it has been a busy week, end of March, and those three panels took me a hell of a long time as well. So, um, as always, guys, thank you very much for watching, and in the next video, we will be cracking on. Um, hopefully, it will quieten down uh, beginning of April, and now I've got a driver to do some of the driving as well, so that should free up some more time for me, and then we can crack on and get this golf fully wrapped. Um, I'm still, the turbo was also as well, my 500 turbo should be here beginning of next week and then we can start getting some parts in and get this up to big power. So as always guys, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers guys.